Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel where we talk about file recovery tips and solutions. Today we're delving into a common issue that many Windows users face, how to fix a hard drive that's not showing up in Windows 10 or 11. We'll be covering a range of effective methods to help you resolve this issue, ensuring that your valuable data is safe and accessible. But before we jump into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a comment if you have any questions, and don't forget to interact with our community. Now, let's get started. Let's dive deeper into the potential problems behind your hard drive not showing up in Windows, as understanding these reasons will help us tackle this issue more effectively. If your problem is with an internal drive, check both the power and the data cables, ensuring they're snugly connected to both the drive and to the motherboard. Sometimes these cables can become loose over time due to vibrations or movement. For external drives on the other hand, examine a USB or other interface cables. Try swapping out the cable or plugging it into a different USB port to rule out a faulty connection. This occurs when a new hard drive hasn't been formatted or initialized. In such cases, Windows doesn't recognize it as a usable storage device. We'll guide you through the process of initializing a disk later in the video. Drivers act as a sort of bridge between your hardware and the operating system, and outdated or missing drivers can lead to a communication breakdown. So we'll cover how to update your drivers to ensure a seamless integration with Windows. Sometimes file system corruption can render a drive invisible to the operating system, so we'll discuss methods to rectify these issues to ensure your hard drive is in optimal working condition. By understanding these potential causes, we can systematically approach the problem and employ the appropriate solution. Now let's dive deeper into the methods that can help you resolve the issue of your hard drive not showing up in Windows 10 or 11. Start by inspecting the physical connections. For external drives, unplug and replug the USB or power cables. Sometimes the issue may be with the USB port or with the cable itself. Switch to a different USB port on your computer or use a different USB cable to see if the device is recognized. For internal drives, make sure the cables and power connectors are securely attached to both the drive and the motherboard. After checking the connections, it's a good practice to restart your computer and see if the hard drive is now detected during the boot process. On your keyboard, press the Windows and X keys and select Disk Management from the menu. In the lower section of the Disk Management window, look for your hard drive. It may be listed as offline or not initialized. Right click on your hard drive, select Change Drive Letter and Paths Choose a new drive letter from the list and click on OK. Firstly, access disk management. Right click on the uninitialized disk and select initialize disk. Choose either MBR, master boot record or GPT, GUID partition table and click OK. Right click on the Windows Start button and select Device Manager. Locate your hard drive under Disk Drives, right click on it and select Update Driver. Choose Search Automatically for updated driver software and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the driver update process. In the Windows search bar, type CMD, right click on it and press Run as Administrator. In the command prompt window, type disk part and press enter. Now type list disk to see all the active drives on your PC, then type select disk and type the number of your problematic drive. After you've selected your drive, type clean and then wait for it to be completed. Then after the process is done, make sure you restart your PC. Restart your computer and access the BIOS setup by pressing the designated key, which is usually Delete, F2 or F12 during boot up. Navigate through the BIOS settings to find the drives or storage section. Now ensure your hard drive is both enabled and detected. Firstly, access command prompt as an administrator. Type chkdsk 
forward slash F forward slash R followed by the drive letter of your inaccessible hard drive. Press enter and follow the prompts to schedule a disk check at the next restart. Press the Windows button, type CMD and click on Run as Administrator. Access Troubleshoot in Command Prompt by typing msdt.exe-id device diagnostic. A pop-up window will appear with the troubleshooter. Click Next and it will start the process. After the process is done, the troubleshooter will let you choose from a list of problems where you can follow the on-screen instructions. Well, that wraps up our comprehensive guide on how to fix hard drives not showing up in Windows 10 or 11. These methods should help you get your hard drive back on track and ensure your data is accessible. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, leave a comment down below as your feedback is invaluable to us. Until next time, keep your data safe.